Morning, folks. This is Naim Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Welcome to our technical analysis video. And in this particular segment, we are going to discuss what is ahead for the S&P 500 index. So let's begin and let's start looking at the price action. But as always, before we do anything further, it is important for us to go through this disclaimer and risk warning slides. So anything which will be discussed in this particular video cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own financial advisors. Now, let me bring out the MT4 platform. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the this platform can be downloaded from our website evertrade.com as always now many of you have been asking us okay can you please have a look at the s p 500 weekly chart and can you please describe why the market is going to go from here and then what is your view of the market i uh, remember as per our previous videos all what we got to look at from the um s p 500's weekly chart is two different factors firstly it is a price action with relative to its moving, uh, weekly moving averages in green what you have is your 200 week moving average in uh, in orange is your 100 week moving average and pink is your 50 week moving average clearly the price has crossed above the 100 week moving average we cover this in our previous videos if you haven't seen that please do go back and have a look at them and then we talked about price coming and challenging is 100 week moving average and that is what really Really has it is happening right now obviously the price is struggling to break above the 50 week moving average an enormous amount of pressure is coming primarily because of the energy sector now I expect the if, if the price doesn't go above this if, if it fails to break above the 50 week moving average uh, 100 week moving average then it is going to come to its 100 200 week moving average and if it crosses below that then that is it the game is over for this bounce and then the only move for the market is to the downside and that is a dominant trend that we are likely to see. Now, with respect to uh, this Fibonacci ratio that uh, some of you may be wondering is what is happening over here. Now, remember folks, I am I'm performing a long-term analysis over here, so I'm not looking at intraday price moves. I'm not looking at even uh, any of the hourly charts or anything like that. I'm really looking from a long-term perspective and that's what we're trying to define over here so what we're looking at here is then the uh, Fibonacci ratio is that the price crossed above its 50 uh, 50 percent retracement level and that was certainly a positive sign meaning that the price has a momentum and then it can continue to the upside but given the fact that the 50 100 week moving average has put an enormous amount of pressure the price is likely to return to 38 percent retracement and that is where the 200 week moving average is now if the price fails to stay above that then like i said the game will be clearly over and then that means that said that this 50 percent retracement was a maximum rally that we were going to see and then the price is highly 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 likely to revisit this low and I, I just wanted to repeat that again if the price breaks below the 38% retracement and if the price breaks below the 200 week moving average and stays below that it is highly 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 likely for the price to come and revisit its COVID-19 lows all right folks that's all for today I'm just gonna keep it small and sweet and speak to you guys tomorrow